why it's dangerous to become indifferent. Well, hello, my name is Erica Angelo, and I'm the CEO and founder of the Erica Angelo Intimacy Experience. Nice to meet you, if it's your first time here. I wanna to talk to you about why it's dangerous to become indifferent. Now, first and foremost, let's just understand. Let's just keep it real. We become indifferent to what? Protect ourselves. We don't wanna feel pain. We don't wanna feel negative emotions. We don't wanna feel disappointment. We wanna, this is what some people say, oh, I just need to stay level-headed so I've become indifferent. But there's a problem with that. When we become indifferent, what we're doing is we're no longer working our emotion muscles. That's right. Your emotions have muscles, and when you shut them off, when you tone them down, when you tell them, be silent, I don't need you right now, what happens is those muscles become very weak. That means when your significant other, your children, the people at work, when they need you to show up and be supportive in an emotional capacity, you don't have the wherewithal to do that. Why? Because you have underdeveloped muscles. You've not been using those babies. You've been silencing those emotions. And so when the people in your life need you, you can't show up for them. Or if you do, it's very difficult. It's very rigorous for you. And then the people in your life become very frustrated with you. How do you not understand this about my emotions? How do you not understand empathy? How do you not get this? Well, you don't get it because you haven't been working those muscles. They haven't been to the gym in a very long time because you've been silencing them. You've been telling them to take a back seat in your life. And so your emotions go, okay, I guess we're not important here. I guess we're not needed, so we're not gonna show up. So yes, it becomes very dangerous when we cannot support the people in our lives, when we don't have a capacity to be empathetic towards them, to be sensitive to them because our senses have grown dull. The other thing is you just stop feeling in life in general. And that disconnect creates isolation. That disconnect makes you feel more alone. If you wanna interact with life, you're gonna have to feel. We go to a football game, a baseball game, what do we do? We feel joy, we feel excitement, we scream, we yell, we shout. But when it comes to life, we try to downplay it. We try to be even kill. We try to be cool as Luke. We're not made to shut down our emotions. We're made to experience life, not be dead to life. So if your life has started to look a bit on the gray side and you don't see a lot of color, chances are it's because you've shut down your emotions. You've silenced your emotions. You've become indifferent. And instead of protecting you, it's only harmed you. It's created more disconnect. It's created a divide between the people that you love and who love you. They can't connect to you because there's no feelings there. There's no person with emotions there to connect with. And you look at them going, why are you so crazy? Why do you have all these needs? They've just chosen to live life fully alive, full to the color of life, and that comes with emotions. So do yourself a favor, quit shutting down your emotions, Quit protecting yourself with indifference, because let's just be honest, it's not protecting you. It's only creating more of a space for you to feel disconnected and alone. So be brave today and allow yourself to feel. If you struggle with disconnection and if indifference has silenced your emotions, then be sure to reach out to me on my website at ericaangelo.com. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and keep coming back because there's more headed your way.